Greetings to you in the name of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. 2nd of November is our All Souls Day. Not everyone uh, remembers uh, the day, but in the uh, mainline uh, churches, like the Anglicans and uh, Roman Catholics churches, we uh, remember all those who have gone before us to be with the Lord. Now we thank God for their lives. We thank God for Jesus for dying for them, for us on the cross of Calvary. Because we know that without the death and resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, those who have gone before us would be lost. But because of uh, the death and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, we know that our loved ones who have gone before us are with Him today. Now, as we uh, remember All Souls Day, it should also be a day for us to uh, search ourselves. Now, on All Souls Day, during the service, usually there will be a long list of names that will be read. All those who have gone before us. Every time uh, the names are read, we should uh, remind ourselves one day, my name will also be included in that list. I never, ever, ever in my wildest uh, imagination imagined one day my daughter's name will be in the list and uh, a name will be read out with those who have gone before us to be with the Lord. So life here on earth is uh, temporary. As much as we might not want to uh, believe life here on earth is temporary. Now every time when we attend a funeral service, we are always reminded. We are always reminded that uh, life here is not uh, permanent. Life in Jesus is permanent. I have heard uh, testimonies of uh, how some have been uh, touched and converted because, <laughs> hey Padre, as I was paying that last respect, when I saw the face of the deceased, I saw my face. Padre, I was so shocked. I was Father, you won't believe me. I was literally seeing my face inside the coffin. And then there's a change in the person's life. Because oh, in the past, he had taken things for granted. And now suddenly the Lord uh, has spoken. My friend, my son, my daughter, one day you will be lying inside this coffin. Are you ready for that day? So life is not permanent. Today we talk about uh, COVID-19. Now COVID-19, uh, of course the whole world is uh, fighting uh, COVID-19. It has actually changed the life of uh, many, many, many people. But uh, when you look at uh, COVID-19, uh, one thing uh, we can uh, thank God for is COVID-19 has uh, reminded her uh, both the rich and the poor that life is temporary. As I said earlier, the pastors have been uh, preaching but uh, many who attend funeral service either they are too tired or too sad to actually receive the message. But today, COVID is shouting from the mountain top to the whole world. Your life is in my hand. 
Your life is not permanent. Your life is temporary. Of course, we all know our lives are in the hand of God. But uh, now COVID has been shouting, and many have uh, got up from their sleep, from their slumber, and say, "Hey, life is not permanent. Life is temporary." Today, I receive a lot of uh, these messages saying, "Life is temporary. Value life. Value your loved ones. Tomorrow is not promised." So COVID has been preaching, and many people have opened their, opened their ears, and now they are listening to this message: "Life is not permanent." So, if life is not permanent, uh, what are we supposed to do here? Now, I remember uh, visiting a very elderly uh, member one day. She was must be in past seventies. So uh, all of a sudden, uh, in the course of our conversation, we're talking about something else. Uh, suddenly, she said, uh, "Patrick, can I ask you something? Uh, where do you think my parents uh, are today? I've got parents that passed away. I've never, never met the parents." And uh, then I asked, uh, "Were they Christians?" Uh, she said, "No, they were not Christians." Then I told her, "Look, I cannot say anything, but as far as the Bible is concerned, salvation is." In Jesus, Jesus says, "I am the way, the truth, and the life." Jesus looked at Martha and said, "I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live." There are lots of other verses in the Bible to say that her salvation is found in Jesus and in Jesus alone. It's not a question whether the whole world agrees to this, but as far as I am concerned, as far as we Christians are concerned, we know that our salvation is in the Lord. So I told her, as far as the Bible is concerned, those who have died in the Lord will be with the Lord. Then she asked, "What about my parents?" I said, "I cannot say anything." Then I leave it to believe to God. Now I'm not a judge, so I say no. I cannot judge. I, I cannot say where your parents will be today, but we just leave it to God. Now I know what she was actually asking about. She was ask, talking about herself, but I gave her the assurance because I know the lady very well. I know her very well because sometimes, uh, uh, even among Christians, uh, people go around saying, "No, if you don't uh, uh, do this, do th- that, then you're not saved." For example, if you don't speak in tongues, then you're not saved. So some Christians uh, get confused and say, yeah, "I don't speak in tongues. I've never spoken in tongues. So where will I go? Will I go to heaven or hell?" So I told not to worry. The Bible does not talk about speaking in tongues. As a ticket to heaven, the Bible talks about Jesus. When one believes in Jesus, when one places his or her faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, then salvation is assured. So she was uh, quite happy to hear that. So the question is: uh, Life here is temporary, as I said right in the beginning. So am I preparing myself? For eternity. Now, this uh, elder lady, she was a very faithful member, very simple, very committed to the Lord. So, I told her, you don't have to worry because of uh, what she has done for you, and uh, because you have uh, put your trust in Him. So while we are living here on earth, because life is temporary, we must ask ourselves: How am I living my life here on earth? Now, when we talk about the All Souls Day, as I said, one day our names will be included in that list. Whether you and I like it or not, our names will be included in that list. 
So before our names are included in the list to be remembered during our All Souls Day, we must ask ourselves, how am I living my life here on earth? Am I being, am I being a blessing to others? Or am I just uh, living for my own self? Now in uh, Matthew, uh, Luke chapter 14, verses uh, 12 to uh, 13. This is the context of uh, Jesus was uh, invited by a prominent uh, Pharisee to his house for banquet. And he had given a nice banquet. And Jesus uh, said, uh, he, then Jesus said to his host, it's the prominent Pharisee, when you give a luncheon or dinner, do not invite your friends, your brothers or relatives, or your rich neighbors. If you do, they may invite you back and so you will be repaid. And this is exactly what we all do. Of course, there are those who uh, uh, will uh, go out of their ways and uh, uh, invite the poor, the lame, now we know of Christians who go out of their way not because of anything, because of the love of Jesus. Now this is the way we must be very careful. Sometimes uh, not because uh, we want to make, not because we want to feel good, shock diri, eh? uh, I want to feel good because I've helped someone. Uh, then uh, I'm, my, my contribution is uh, recognized. No. But that's exactly what many people uh, do. We, uh, when we have uh, functions, we invite, we, we invite people who will in turn invite us when they have a uh, function in their house. We not, let's not really talk about uh, meals. Now, when we help someone, human nature is to expect something in return. It does not matter in what form, we expect something to be uh, something in return. Or we say, he's so ungrateful. She's so ungrateful. You know, I helped him. You know, I helped her when she was in need, when he was in need. Now, so that's the human nature for us to expect something in return. And when we are not, uh, uh, when we don't get what we want, sometimes we become uh, disheartened. And here, Jesus says, uh, no, that should not be the criteria. When you help someone, when you give someone, some, something to someone, don't expect anything in return. That's why in verse uh, 13, but when you give a banquet, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, and the blind. In other words, Jesus says, you just help for sake of helping. Not expecting anything in return. The parable of the... Uh, sheep and the goat is a very good example. Now just look at the uh, sh those on his right and said, welcome. And he said, uh, when I was hungry, he gave me food. They said, Jesus, when did we ever see you hungry? He said, I was uh, thirsty, he gave me water. They said, when did we ever see you thirsty? I was in prison, you visited me. They said, when did we ever see you in prison? I was naked, you gave me clothes. When did, did we ever see you naked? When you did this to one of the list, you did this to me. So they had just helped because it was in their nature to help. They were not expecting anything. They were not expecting to be appreciated. They were not expecting, they were not expecting to be glorified. They were not expecting to be honored. They just helped for the sake because it was part of their nature. And that's how Christians should be. We should just help because it is our nature, it because we are Christians. Now, if we help expecting something in return, then there'll be nothing, that, there's no difference, there'll be no difference between us and those who have not um, those, have, those who have not known Christ. And that's why Jesus says, and you will be blessed. He said, You'll be blessed. Sometimes when we help those who I need. Sometimes, yes, we will be recognized, appreciated, we will be blessed here on earth. But sometimes we will not receive our due recognition. There are those who go around uh, blowing their own trumpet, saying, look, I've, I'm helping uh, 
uh, soon so I'm helping this group of people now I need to be recognized please uh, clap, clap your hands for me now there are people like that we all know there are people who like to be glorified who like to be honored who like to be recognized appreciated if you don't do these things then they will just say I'm not going to help anymore but then there are those they don't care because they, they, it's, it's in their nature to help and they know that one day I will be appreciated by my Father in heaven. The why it says, and when, although they cannot repay you, you will be repaid at, at the resurrection of the righteous. This is a promise that God gives us. Now, as Christians, uh, we must always be conscious. We are the pilgrims passing through this uh, life. This is not permanent. But some of us uh, live as though this is our permanent uh, place. But our life here is not permanent. We are just uh, passing through. So I know that I'm just passing through. My destination is heaven. So whatever I do, whatever I say, I know that when I do or say, to glorify God, one day I will be blessed when I stand before God in heaven. So let us not be worried about uh, what people say about us, what we, whether people recognize or appreciate. Jesus should be our example. We are to help. We are to be a blessing to others. Irrespective of whether we will be recognized or recognized our we say because i'm a christian my duty is to bring forth the fruit of the spirit to love it is my duty to care for those who are in it just like my lord jesus christ so when uh, as we remember our all souls day let us be reminded that our lives here is not permanent. One day, our names will be included in the list where those who have gone are being remembered. But that's okay. It will happen. But we must make sure that our names are included in the book of life. And for that to happen, we must uh, believe in our Lord Jesus Christ and we must live a faithful life bringing forth the fruit of the Spirit. So, my dear friends, just want to ask you this question. Are you living for yourself? If you are living for yourself, then you'll be expecting appreciation, honor, glory, reward here on earth. But if you are living for our Lord Jesus Christ, you will just live and be a blessing to others. What people say, what people do, will have no impact on your life. Because for you, what Jesus says has, will have greater impact and your life is focused on eternity. So let us have a focus on eternity and be pilgrims, pilgriming through this uh, life here on earth. Let me uh, conclude with these uh, two verses taken from uh, Luke chapter 14, verses 13 and 14. But when you give a banquet, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, the blind, and you will be blessed. Although they cannot repay you, you will be repaid at the, you will be repaid at the resurrection of the righteous. God bless you. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.